Hello and welcome back to the channel, everyone. My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I think today's episode is going to be spent with me just kind of getting in, getting into some things that I've been thinking about lately. Let's first set it to piano music because we haven't done the piano thing in a while. Now, as far as the spells I wanted to pick, I am going to. I don't think I just want to use favorite spells, I want to use some new favorites. Spells that I've either only recently come to appreciate, or new spells that were added to the game that just made me go, Oh, that was great. And I think... Here we go. I know a lot of you probably aren't thinking this one's really good, but I really like it. I really grew quite an appreciation for that spell. Um, so there isn't a whole lot in the way of new spells, but, see, I could take Phantom Division, because that one's just fun, but I've grown a whole new appreciation for Aqua Arc after using it on the Spotlight episode, so I'm going to use it here, too. Mm. <coughs> huh, pardon me, I just ate an apple, and part of it just came up to say how's it going. I apologize if that's a little bleh, but, I mean, I'm also not going to sugarcoat that. See, as far as signatures that I've that are either new or I've found a new appreciation for, I mean, well, there's Sonic Breaker. To be fair, Sonic Breaker is definitely something that's caught my attention quite a bit more than I thought it would. I mean, it's already good, don't get me wrong, but it's a matter of how good it is that really threw me off. Like, this is a spell that can get work done, whether you're th just throwing it out there just to get it out of your room, just to get it out, or if you're actually just sitting there controlling it, because it does a wildly good job of just cutting people off. It's like, no, you stay over there, and I'll let you know when you can walk again. But that's not fair. That does, that does a very poor job of my... Shut the fuck up. I don't care. You stay over there, and I'll tell you when you can move again. There we go. So I'm going to go with the Tron setup. Everything I have is a projectile. Well, okay, that one isn't. But everything else is. Hmm. So much coverage. Alright, we've got a good setup here, so I'm just going to get rolling. Alright, so now what we need is a decent Earth-based projectile that I can use against the twins. Otherwise, everything else is pretty much set and ready to go. An electric-based projectile would also be nice. Yay, I suck. because I've been busy with holiday stuff. We went to my roommate's family's place for Christmas. Went to my older sister's place for Christmas Eve. Which, you know, I'm one of those was great, the other one not so much, and I'll let you guys figure out which one was which. I'm pretty sure I stated which one was which in my Discord server, but let's just say things did, did not entirely go according to Plan. 
then I've also been spending some time trying to essentially decide where I want to go with my content next, because there are definitely some things that I was thinking about, kind of trying to, kind of trying to decide what I want to do next, what new things have come out, and there, there have been some things I've been thinking about, so today I'm going to air all of that out. Starting with, starting with what, what I've been up to, so... Outside of just holiday stuff, and also ouch. Mmm, Sonic Breakers. Mmm, I love Sonic Breakers. Oh, hello, Spice Rack. Oh no, that's Destructive Abacus, never mind. I'm dumb. So, one of the things I've been doing is, as I tend to do, explore some new music. And a lot of that is brought on by, like, like end of, end of the year best and worst lists. And just, just for a little bit of transparency on that, I do describe, I do describe, wow, I'm in I do subscribe to Rocked. I do subscribe to. See, I know that's kind of the obvious choice considering I'm going for Critical Hit Engine, but I don't have a lot of Critical Hit stuff yet. I will see if I can get some decent Critical Hit stuff from Anders, but if I can't, I'm taking the cannon. And that is final, and you can't make me change my mind. Anders. Oh, he does have critical hit stuff. Now, I would like Journal of Midas, but... See, I basically only need 40 coins for that, so I should be able to afford it. But yeah, the idea is still to take this. Oh, whoops. Accidentally let it go instead of holding it. And yes, I can't afford the Journal of Midas. Oh, frap just day, Kalu Kale! It's about the only thing about the Tim Burton Alice in Wonderland that I really liked was that phrase. And one thing that many of you may have noticed is that I haven't put out a new Wizard of Metal video in forever. And there's two reasons behind that. One, a little discouraged that it's the idea that they actually that my Wizard of Metal videos actually get far fewer views than any of my other content. And that does actually almost include like like new like playing new games just to see how the audience feels about them which I think is a, not only a little odd, but it is a little discouraging, not gonna lie. But the other thing is, I've been trying to follow up on follow up with some new music, and I've found some albums that really kind of... <clears throat> that really kind of put things... <laughs> some new albums that put groups I haven't heard in a while on the map, put a, put a little bit of new music on the map. Like... Like, there's some very good new stuff out there. And after hearing that, it's the sort of thing where I said, okay, I can't just keep this to myself. I shouldn't hide this in a bushel basket. Alright, that was not so smart. So, 
I think Wizard of Metal is going to make a comeback because I got a lot of stuff I want to share. But I'm also thinking I want to redefine the rules of Wizard of Metal just a little bit. And when I say that, I don't mean that I'm not going to be looking at metal music anymore because that would violate the whole point of why I wanted to start that series. And let's be fair, it's my fucking series. If I want to look at metal music, I'm going to. Damn it. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to redefine the rules a little bit and just let people know it's not just metal I'm looking at. I also do have quite the soft spot for just rock music in general, so that would be like indie, punk, alternative, obviously metal of mo of just about any stripe and variety. So long as it's as long as it's rock music, I'm probably interested in hearing it. And that might seem a little contrary to what I had said before, but. Trust me, I am interested in hearing whatever whatever it is you have to uh, you have to bring to the table. So long as it's of the rock genre somewhere in there, I am interested in hearing it. Okay, I hate this. Room. This room can go. This room can go suck many many eggs. I hate it so much. Well, we're definitely gonna do this, even though it's putting me at da putting me in a danger level. And let's face it, it was almost entirely one room that did all of the damage on this on this floor. Uh, what do we have here? Well, I like the idea of the sturdy wooden easel. I should grab that if I can make enough capital for it. I am not sure if I'll be able to. Hey, smooth. Okay, so that didn't work, but I might be able to rack up some damage by playing carefully against Freya. And then is there something else over here that I wouldn't mind taking? Uh... I'm only four coins off. Let's take a quick trip through here, see if there's anything I haven't broken, and see if I can get those four coins, because I would love the sturdy wooden easel. One. I broke everything here. Now obviously when you're looking to speed run, don't do what I'm doing. Like if you can't afford it, just call it good. But I am not speed running, and I would like a little bit of something to help me mitigate damage. Maybe behind the painting? Damn. Maybe in this barrel? Damn. Pottery? Damn. What do beavers build? Damn. Very good. Eh, I'm just gonna have to call it good. There's no way I'm gonna get those four points. But, I can see if I can make up a little bit of lost momentum by going damageless against Freya. And this is first level Freya, so that shouldn't be too difficult.
Oh, damn. All right, we did it. And somehow it was worth a little bit of extra money. Oh, okay, so instead of it being worth 16%, 16%, it's 10%, but they also give you some money. Oh, wait, no, they don't. No, it's 10%, and it heals you to full when you picked it up. That money came from Journal of Midas. Okay, never mind. I swear I have a brain. I, I practice using it every now and again. Got anything good for me? Well, yes, you do. Oh, and that's the Bounty Hunter seal. Alright, well, we're adopting Aura. So, I wanted to make sure that the redefined rules for Wizard of Metal are out there because I do want to, I do want to stress that it's good, that it's, I, it's more so about just rock music and not necessarily just metal specifically. Now that having been said, those of you who are looking to me, looking to me to do like, you know, themed runs and reviews of like hip hop and pop music, keep dreaming. That's the sort of music that I actually try to avoid. So I apologize if that's if that's kind of your thing. I don't think less of you as a person because of it, obviously, because that's a pretty shitty reason to think less of someone. But it really just isn't my thing. Now, I want to say, off the, like, with that having been said and me being very gassy and not speaking very clearly, I don't, I don't have a disrespect for for anyone's decisions and opinions when it comes to the music that they listen to. I just also have my very strong opinions on things, and let's be fair, at least in my country, rock music gets heavily over. And that's kind of one of the big things I wanted to combat right there. Um, okay, well, I'm past. So the twins are going to resist this, but it's such a good, it's such a good arcana, I kind of don't want to pass it up. Now I kind of hope I see the ring of reserves. So that's what kind of what's on the docket as far as Wizard of Metal is concerned. Next up, other games that other games that I can play for the channel. There have been some things that I've been checking out and that have really caught my attention. Name, namely, I just started playing Inscription. That game is that game is something. Like I'm not like I kind of feel as though most takes on the card battler genre are first of all. I don't, I don't want to say dated, but I mean, Magic the Gathering has been around how long, and, you know, we're still kind of clamoring for the card battler genre. Like, to me, it seems a little weird. But, that having been said, even though I did just make fun of the card battler genre, I love Slay the Spire. I'm no good at it, but I love it. Now, that could also just be a bit of a misnomer on my part, because, to be fair, Slay the Spire is also very difficult. Like, that is that is a game that definitely will start testing you, especially on the higher difficulty levels. Just like the Hell Passes in One Step from Ethan, the... Yeah. Oh my god, you need to go away. Oh, boom. 
Alright, let's go ahead and grab this because I definitely want to earn some extra money off of beating Atlas with the Sonic Breaker. But the reason, the reason I'm saying that is because Inscription definitely looks like it's something that deserves some attention. I've been playing it, so I guess it doesn't look like something that deserves attention. I'm obviously wanting to give it attention. And I find it to be interesting because it is, by all rights, a, another take on the card battler genre. Ow. But it also, it also seems like it has an interesting blend of storytelling and intrigue. Horror definitely comes to mind. So, quite excited with that with what I've been playing so far on Inscription. Like, it's one of those things I really hope you guys decide to check out on your own, because there's a lot there that I think is really fun. Like, I'll probably show it off as just a, you know, something, something new to try out. Alright, got anything good for us, Iris? Alright, so Wind Flurry. Yeah, that'll work. Though still would really like to see that, see that either Analytical Monocle would be nice, or... You know, Crimson Clover would be really nice. Um, I think it's the Ring of Reserves that I was thinking about earlier, because considering, considering what I have, that would be fantastic. Frost Scimitar is good enough that I should really just be using it in most, if not all, scenarios. <laughs> I'll take that. I haven't even found Anders yet. I know where he is, I just haven't gone there. I would be stupid not to take Sidewinder's badge with the setup I have and the basic that I'm using. No, that would be dumb. As much as I like rainbows. Sorry, this one's, this one's a little bit too easy. Oh, and Ancient Fountain Pen. All right. Hmm. 
Honey, we're looking good. Now, it would be good if we could get past Atlas without taking damage, but, I mean, let's see what we can get done first. get the Bounty Hunter seal to work, and yes, it was with Sonic Breaker, just like I said it would be. Oh, that's so good. Doesn't count as anything, though, so I kind of want to keep what I have. There we go. I do like Erupting Cannonade, don't get me wrong, but I think what I have right now is going to work a little bit better against the Twins. As far as other new, other new noteworthy stuff, I know that Neon Abyss has has had a couple of updates that I'm interested in checking out. Like, I don't know how much you guys remember Neon Abyss, but I still like that game, even if it's... Ow. But I, I still very much enjoy it. Um, I do think I want to also play more of them. I am so stupid. Oh, hello. Oh, I see, I see a double play there I can make. And I can get rid of this for this. And just like that, we've got a much better run. Hey, get back here. Well, that was worth it. Glad I went that way. But I'm also kind of trying to keep things a bit limited on my end, because for those of you that don't know, I did actually just recently start a new job. I'm currently going through the orientation right now. And as per usual, it looks like it's going to be full-time hours, so I'm trying to kind of keep it, keep my recording schedule a little bit on the gentler end of things, because, ow. Because I don't know what kind of time I'm going to have to work on that. But that having been said, it doesn't mean that I'm not going to be recording. It just means I'm going to be being careful about what I record. So, just a heads up, there might be a little bit less Wizard of Legends, a little bit more other stuff. But no way am I abandoning Wizard of Legends. That would be silly. But I also don't want it to be solely Wizard of Legends. It's probably going to be. Every time I see it, I just tense up and go, No! You can't make me! So, might go with the armor. Or, I might go with nothing at all. I think I'll probably just end up going with nothing at all. I'm not seeing anything here that would be a severe game changer. And we've killed enough enemies, let's just go ahead and go. Alright, 
definitely need a healing potion now. I can... I can feel my, I can feel my anus rupturing as we speak. And as far as games are concerned, I've kind of found myself kind of hitting like a puzzle game renaissance, so to speak. What with I mean, not just Tetris Effect connected, but I've also I also picked up you know. Leo Leo Tetris 2 for my Switch. I I guess you could almost more so say I've been on a Tetris kick. I remember when I was just a wee when I was just a wee sage, and you know the idea of Tetris was kind of a kind of a far-fetched idea, not because you know. I wasn't one of those guys who's like, oh, I hate Tetris, I only play DOOM! Which, by the way, if you say DOOM like that, double check your genetic makeup, make sure you're not an ogre. But secondly, I just was never very good at Tetris, so it was kind of the big thing. Like, I don't know what it was about Tetris, I just was never very good at it. But when I started playing Tetris Effect Connected, I started really getting into it, kind of thinking to myself, okay, let's practice this. And I've been getting better and better the more I've been practicing, so I've been, you know, shock of shocks, I've been wanting to play more as well. So there's been something, there's been a little bit of a Tetris renaissance going on for me. Because now, whereas I used to be awful at Tetris, now I'm, I don't know, at the very least average, maybe slightly above average. Like, I don't know what the average player can output when it comes to Tetris, so all I know is that I'm better than I used to be. Which again, make of that what you will, as I am what some people would say is an older gamer. And when I say that, I don't mean I'm like super old. I think I've already divulged to you guys, I'm 38, but for some people that would be like, oh, you're too old to play video games, don't you, don't you want to act your age? And my honest answer to that is, no. Because acting my age involves doing nothing, doing nothing but working, coming home and sleeping, and yeah. Because what some people define as acting your age is a really narrow thing, and I just don't want to be that person. So I vehemently reject the idea of acting one's age. And it reminds me of a quote, and, you know, I'm going to have to look this up, maybe post it either on my Facebook or my Discord, something like that. I know a lot of people nowadays prefer to use things like Instagram and whatnot, so if, if you guys have a social media preference, let me know, because I'm just kind of working with whatever here. I'm not really picky, but the, the, quote, I, the quote I believe is... Something along the lines of, of, I've given up childish things, but that includes the need to act my age and be afraid of acting childish. So, I mean, you know, is acting your age really all it's cracked up to be? Better not take that.
So I'll have to look up the actual quote, but the gist of it is, don't be afraid to, embra to embrace some, to embrace that more childish part of yourself. If all of us just did away with anything, with anything because, because of a, because of this strange want to act our ages, so to speak, no one would ever do anything fun because acting your age is taking everything super seriously and just out. Now, this is come. This is the point of view of someone who's also had way too many people in their lives say, you need to act your age. And to me, that means be a boring prick. Like, sorry, not everything needs to be all business all the time. That's, that's just a really bad way to look at life. Definitely. Not everything needs to be taken super seriously and be and be just all business all the time. Because generally when people are saying act your age, they're generally saying like, oh, don't play with toys, don't like video games, don't, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that, that's what my child does. And I'm of the mindset of, and. Because it's something that your child gets into, doesn't mean that it's something you can't get into. Maybe your child is onto something. Okay, so let's see. That's no longer useful, so we're gonna grab that. And that's no longer useful, so we're gonna grab that. Alright. Now, I want to be fair, if I were going on to do another loop, then those things would be useful. Alright, killing it. Alright, let's just throw this out so I didn't... I just wanted to make sure that it's that it activated the ancient fountain pen. Ow. Oh, Sonic Breakers are so good. Oh, Sonic Breakers. Ooh, ooh. So, I just wanted to let you guys in on some of the new things I've been looking at. Um, in the case of games, inscription, um, really getting back into Tetris and reconnecting with my childhood. And reconnecting with the idea that we shouldn't be afraid to enjoy things just because they're not necessarily our age. If you can't tell, I really hate that phrase. And there's a part of me that wants to just make a video just entirely based on the whole act your age premise. And how much I hate it. But that's a story for another time. As for right now, I want to say thank you guys very much for watching and continuing to be patient with me while I work through this new chapter in my life. I'm very excited for it, but at the same time, understand that I'm also still very nervous about things and am very unsure about what the future is going to hold. Like, I'm completely switching careers and I'm a little just, I'm just nervous. It's all it is. I'm not avoiding making recordings because it's like, ah, oh, screw YouTube even though there is a part of me that wants to say, eh, screw YouTube. Not, again, not because of you guys, but because of the endless meddling with... That's a video in and of itself, and I'm rambling. I apologize. So I want to thank you for coming and sharing some of your free time with me. Um, do me a favor. Do all the stuff that gets a guy noticed by the algorithm. And I will see you guys in the next one.
My name is Dark Sage Walker, and I will see you.